गुड एंड मॉर्ग एंड फ्रेंड्स सिद्धार्थ अग्रवाल ही है सो फाइनली जर्मनी हैज इनिशिएटेड कॉन्क्रीट स्टेप्स टूवर्ड्स इन्वाइटिंग यू गाइज टू जर्मनी एंड मेक करियर इन जर्मनी दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर इन दैट वॉज अराउंड अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आई मेड अ वीडियो दैट जर्मनी इज गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस सम कॉन्क्रीट स्टेप्स टूवर्ड्स मेकिंग इट ईजियर फॉर यू गाइज टू कम टू जर्मनी एंड फाइनली ऑन एटीन नवंबर दे हैव टेकन द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ स्टेप्स So in this video I'm going to explain or narrate uh, the best points of these new reforms. So friends these reforms are actually a package of reforms. I mean it's not just one day or one uh, reform they are going to initiate. They are going to initiate these reforms in three steps. First of uh, which is already taken on 18th bar. The second reform will be taken into uh, effect on 1st of March 2024. and the third step of this reforms will be carried out on 1st of june 2024 so now the biggest point in this reform that is on 18th november 2023 is the reduction of salary barrier that is previously it so happened that uh, a candidate must get at least 57000 euro or somewhere around 57000 euro brutto per year then only he or she will be eligible to get a blue card now they have reduced this it to phase wise 40000 euros or um, 44000 euros per friends this is a very uh, important or very uh, um, significant step because in most cases as i have seen candidates were not able to get this much of package that is that salary package of 57000 euros per year and they were not able to make career in germany now because the salary package is reduced so you have a very uh, good amount of chance of making career in germany so friends i have also mentioned in my previous video that many people consider this step as a negative step because reducing the salary uh, barrier is not the best thing to do in this world but again friends don't forget that nobody is going to bound you or bind you to uh, carry on a job in case if you get a job uh, with a lower salary you are always free to uh, switch over to any other company at any point of time so there is never you are never going to be bound or forced to continue with a lower salary package so take it in a positive way at least in uh, from my point of view this is definitely a very good decision from german government the second point here is a uh, freshers and uh, you know newly uh, 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 passed out can uh, students also have a good chance to make career in germany previously it so happened that uh, candidate must have at least 4 to 5 years of work experience then only they were considered for uh, let's say a blue card or uh, for uh, you know from the employer's point of view also but now this uh, because of the significant uh, deficiency of skilled manpower in germany Uh, German government has uh, taken a very good decision towards uh, reducing this uh, re experience requirement and now even a fresher can easily make career in Germany. Point number 3 is uh, regarding the uh, the various profiles that were initially not considered as as bottleneck professions or uh, professions in deficiency. So now many other profiles like even manufacturing or construction uh, fields are taken into Uh, these bottleneck professions or skilled professions so those guys uh, who are into these professions also have a huge amount of chance to make career in germany friends before i continue i would like to uh, tell you where i am right now so friends i am i am right now at my home country india and this place is known as nasik where i stay uh, since last 20 years i am staying here and presently we are here at a place called trambakeshwar that is near to uh, nasik However it's not exactly Trambakeshwar it's, it's Trambakeshwar is 8 kilometers away from here this place is actually a very religious place here i have purchased a piece of land uh, this is the land that i have purchased and i am planning to make kind of a villa or kind of a resort here music and as you can see this camera i have installed just today and i'll keep you updating how the progress happens because i'm planning to initiate construction work here in next uh, maybe 15 to 20 days um, so now uh, coming back to our discussion point that is the new reforms fourth important point is uh, candidates who does not have or does not possess a university degree they were uh, having a tough they were having a tough time previously to make career in germany but now it is no more like this now even if you don't have any university degree however your degree is or your education are already uh, recognized in your previous uh, in your home country and you have at least 2 years of relevant work experience then also you can easily apply for jobs and get uh, your work permit or blue card so this is again uh, that was kind of a 
non repairable problem or non avoidable problem for many candidates who did not uh, does not uh, did not possess a university degree but now this problem is no more uh, so that's definitely a good news for everybody now further to this point that is uh, degree recognition in germany there used to be a big problem because previously uh, uh, every candidate including me myself had to uh, you know get a certificate of equivalence from zeb or at least produce two certificates uh, from the anabin uh, database now in many cases it so happened that anabin was not aware of uh, some university or degree in, in in your home country and then the candidate had a very bad experience with uh, the delays from zeb that is candidate has to pay a lot of amount to zeb to get the de degree of um, the equivalent certificate now there is a proposal that this step will also the be proposal paid. says that if a candidate uh, he, he or she gets a job contract from a, a employer in germany he or she can directly continue start the job and in next 3 years um, the candidate has a chance to get the zeb equivalent certificate or the anabin certificate so that means now this degree um, equivalence or degree recognition is not going to be a bottleneck towards you making career in germany this again is a proposal right now but is definitely a big step towards easing your uh, career towards germany now now friends coming over to the last most important point of this reforms and that is family reunion visa see uh, every candidate who uh, see most in most cases candidate who has a good amount of experience must be having family in his or her home country also now previously it used to happen that for applying for family reunion visa the candidate must show one thing is the source of livelihood that is the candidate earns enough money to sustain his family or her family in germany second thing was a place for uh, their home that is their uh, living in germany so in that case uh, like in my example also i had to take a big house on rent just to show a sufficient amount of area that i have for my family now this condition is also waived off that is the candidate needs to show only uh, livelihood uh, things but not the living space so friends this is again a very important point because uh, taking a house on rent that is complete house just to show area for your family is again a very costly affair and also it may take at least 3 to 4 months time uh, to get this family reunion visa for your family to come down to germany which again is a very costly thing because for next 3 4 months you need to alone uh, bear the cost of that house so i'll say this is again a very important step and one more thing which is most important is now family reunion visa does not only include your son your daughter and your wife or your spouse but also your parents and your parents in law so friends this was all about these reforms which are initiated or uh, taken into effect on 18th november 2023 i'll keep making more videos if you have any doubts or any comments any questions please feel free to post them on youtube comments i'll be more than happy to help you out I'll see you in next video. See you. Bye-bye.